I started a new series uh, about a week ago and there's only one drawing in it right now. I did that one off camera, but I thought I'd do the second one in the series. I don't know how many there's going to be in the series, but for now, there's just these two. Now, I realized something after I was done drawing this. I finally figured out why my drawings on camera always turn out so weird looking, with the exception of Pout. I like the way Pout turn out, but all the rest of them, for some reason, turn out very weird to me. And I finally figured out what it is. It is because I am leaning back so much so that my head is not in the camera that I'm skewing the way that I'm viewing the picture. So when I was drawing it, her eye, nose and mouth did not look like they were that far away from each other. Like her eye did not look like it was that high up her head. And then when I was done and I actually lifted the picture up to like look at it facing me, I saw how far away her eye was. I was like, why did I freaking do that? I didn't even lift the picture up once off the paper, like off the board, which I should have done. I should have stopped in the middle, you know, lifted it, see when it was. I should have stopped right after the sketch, right after the pencil sketch to look at what I was doing. But for some reason I did it. So this is what it turned out to be. But at least now I know. So from now on, I will stop after I'm done with the pencil sketch lift it up make sure everything where it's supposed to be and then continue and continue to do that as I go forward because yeah that was a mistake <laughs> I mean it's not like horrible in the end but it's not the best and I feel like I've been saying that a lot about all my drawings I'm like what am I doing wrong and then I compared it to the ones that I did off camera and I'm like oh now I know what it is the ones that I did off camera I'm like literally on top of the picture so I can see where everything is but with these I'm leaning back so far that I'm like skewing what I'm viewing basically so I thought I'd go back to like what I love to do which is just sharpie and ballpoint pen like I love to do sharpie and ballpoint pen drawings I was trying to try out the markers like full marker drawings uh, I don't think I'm going to continue to do that I mean I might do some but I really really like sharpie and ballpoint pen now in this series there is a little bit of um, like regular markers like regular permanent markers colored markers which I add at the end. Uh, I didn't do it on camera though for some reason. I don't know why. But I think because I was looking at it and it was so ugly, I was gonna scrap this one because her eye is so far away from everything. But then I was like, you know what? It's a part of the series. I'm just gonna keep it. So I ended up adding the color later on. Now the way that I do my hair is I do like uh, the bold lines first like all these bold uh, squiggles and like curls and then I go in and I fill in all the areas that doesn't have bold lines with a thin sharpie marker and I feel like that gives like I mean obviously I don't draw realistically but I feel like that gives it like like a real hair look you know like a real hair look in my style not like a realistic hair look but like a real hair look you get what I'm saying. Usually I just uh, like where the loop is, I'll just do like like a circular pattern there and then follow that until I can't do it anymore. Or sometimes I like switch in the middle and do like a different pattern just because you know it's curly hair isn't like you know all gonna go in the same direction. So I try to make it switch directions as much as possible. I somehow lost some footage right there. I swear I cut the camera on but the footage was gone. really like how bold um, 
my drawings turn out when I use just Sharpie and Paul Paint Pen. I like the really, really stark contrast between the white whites and the cross hatching black and then the really dark blacks. Like to me, I love that. And I love when you can see an outline, like I love outlines. So I feel like I need to just stick to my style. <laughs> I've been really feeling um, drawing like freckled girls, so that's probably gonna show up in a lot of my artwork that, that's coming up. I always wanted freckles, like I love freckles. I don't have any, I've always, always, always wanted them. So I'm gonna start drawing them. <laughs> that's gonna be like my way to get them to draw them on the girls that I draw. So at this point, I still hadn't lifted up the picture to actually look at what it looked like. So when it was done, I was like, okay, great, I'm done. And then I lifted it up. And as you can see, like I can, now I can, like once I lifted it up, I was like, oh, now I can see her eye is so freaking high up her head. Like in her forehead is like, I mean, whatever. Basically realized that uh, my view was skewed and I did not draw everything the way it was supposed to be drawn. Now. This one is the first one in the series, this new series that I did. And I actually, I really, really like the way this one turned out. I like doing just like a little bit of blue for where the cross hatching is, leaving everything else white. I really like the way this one turned out. So when I did this one, I was expecting it to like, at least look like it's similar. And I was <laughs> really mad when I realized what I did. So I think I'm gonna do another one in this series, but this time I'm going to make sure I lift it up look at it so that I can see what the heck is going on so this is it finished after I put all the color on it and everything it doesn't look like entirely horrible like it doesn't look too bad but still it's not what I thought it was going to be whatever <laughs> I'll do another one <laughs> <laughs> 